Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of Our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalm 68, verse 5, and it reads, A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. Now, I want to divide this scripture into three parts. The first part is a father of the fatherless. Now, what do we understand by this? The key words here are father and fatherless. A father of the fatherless is an, somebody who has no father. Peraventure, his father has run away or his father has gone and he's not taking his responsibility as a father or his father is, is late, he's dead. This is the father of the fatherless. So here, when one has no father, God comes in as a father. God comes in as the one and takes the position of the father, takes the responsibility as a father, as a spiritual father and a physical father. The God that provides for the fatherless, the God that provides for the needy. Here, there is a state of neediness and God provides God provides their needs. God provides their supplication. God provides their daily bread for them, for the fatherless. God provides their ability for them. God provides their clothing. God provides their spiritual food for them because he's a father of the fatherless. God provides their psychological, emotion, emotional, mental, spiritual nourishment that helps them function as humans, that helps them function and be at balance with everybody, every other person in their pairs, in their midst, in the society and lead a normal life. He's the father of the fatherless. And once they acknowledge that God is the father of the fatherless, God in turn takes that position and continues to show them and continue to show them that position going to show them that path which they ought to thread then the second bit says a defender of the widow so god is a defender of the widow now who is a widow a widow is somebody who a woman who has lost her husband who has no father no no um husband and paraventure her children will have no father so also god comes in here is a defender of the widow is the one that defends them because when there is no man in the house to defend them to protect the family to cover them god steps in so god steps in to defend the widow god steps in to protect her God steps in to guide her through. God steps in to see her through. God steps in to take her from where she is to the next level. God steps in to help her with upbringing of her children. Help her with upbringing of her household. Help her to play the fatherhood role. To be able to fulfill her destiny and the destiny of her children. And the third bit says, is God in his holy habitation? Is God in his holy habitation? Is God in his holy habitation? So here he speaks about the the, the um, position which God is in. God is in his holy habitation. And why in his holiness he will do this. In his holiness, he will be a father to the fatherless. In his holiness, he will be a defender of the widow. In his holiness, he will be God. He will be faithful in being a father to the fatherless and a defender of the widows. Now, what does this, looking at it from a deeper sense, what does this speak about? This speaks about, first and foremost, anyone that sees God as his father, ought to tap into him or to tap into those resources or to tap into his flow or to tap into and go in sync with the spirit of god to be able to enjoy him as the father of the fatherless 
You cannot be serving the devil and God will be a father to the fatherless, to, to you that is fatherless. You have to be able to tap into his awesomeness. You have to tap into that flow of God, that thing that constantly puts him in a position of God over your life and, and a defender of the widow. You That thing that continue puts him as a defender of your widowhood, as a position where he plays as a husband of every widow. And that is leading and following after God. That is following after his precepts, following after his status, obeying the commandments of God, giving your life to Christ and walking under the auspices of Jesus Christ and the leadership of God himself and being able to follow through and through. And at so doing, he continues to be a father of the fatherless, of you that is fatherless, and a defender of the widows. In his holy habitation, he will be. I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us a deeper meaning into this word, that we would put ourselves in that position where God would play the father who would rule because we are fatherless and God will be a defender to all those widows out there and all those who are needy and all those who are in want of their daily bread, who are in want of their supplication, who are in want of the things they need and all those who are in want of all they want. Who are in want of things for the continuation of their living. All these I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. Also, I want to seize this opportunity to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, all the fathers listening, because today is Father's Day. Thank you so much for listening once again and God bless. God bless. In Jesus' name, Amen.